During an incident or an outage, your first priority is triage and mitigation, not root cause analysis. But there may be times you still need to debug, especially in production if that's the only environment where you can reproduce the issue. But you can't afford to redeploy to add more logging or debugging code. So what do you do? Today, we'll look at debugging in production with Stackdriver Debugger. This is the Stack Doctor. In the past, situations like these required developers to add additional instrumentation to their code, then wait for a new deployment to get more insight. But what if you could just inspect the code in production or add logging on the fly without having to redeploy? This is what Stackdriver Debugger is built for. Let's look at an example Node.js app to see how to add debugger to your service. We'll put the link to the repo in the video description. We add the debugger agent at the very top of our code and give the agent the parameters needed to authenticate to the API and specify the service we'll be debugging. Once our app is running, we can go to the debugger screen in the Cloud Console and see that our service has checked in and is ready for debugging. The next step is to tell debugger where our source code is. Our sample apps code is on GitHub, so we can select that option. But we can have debugger use source code from Google Cloud source repositories, GitLab, or Bitbucket, or even from our local workstation. Once we select the location of the source code, it's shown on the screen. Our setup is done, and we can start using debugger. Debugger lets us debug in production in two ways. First, it allows us to create snapshots that let us inspect the state of our variables at specified points in the code. The second lets us add more logging on the fly. Let's take a look at both. To create a new snapshot, click on the line of code where you would like to capture the state of our variables. The next time the line of code is executed, a snapshot is created. A snapshot shows us the values of the local variables at the specified execution point. We can also add expressions to capture static or global variables that are not part of the local variable set, or perform calculations like a duration. We've now seen how to use snapshots to inspect variable values in our code. This is really helpful when we're debugging to figure out if there's a mistake in our code. But what if we want to add more debug logging? Stackdriver Debugger also allows us to add logging on the fly. That is to essentially create additional log entries that get ingested into Stackdriver logging. Adding one is as easy as switching to the log point tab, selecting a line of code, then specifying the message to be written. You could use this to log the value of a variable and then use the log viewer to see the value for each time the line of code is hit. Once we add the log point, additional log entries are created. The log point will persist for 24 hours. This is a great way to get better debugging information to more clearly understand what our code is actually doing. Debugging in production sounds scary, but Stackdriver Debugger makes it easy and lets you do it without having to change your code or redeploy your app. Thank you for joining me today and come back soon for more. This is the Stack Doctor. Stay healthy out there.